All right, so let's give this a shot. Batteries here. Connecting the 12 volt source. I'm using that guinea pig uh, ECU, the 696. It's like an 03 or an 04. It doesn't support idle air, which is fine because I'm not going to use it. So if I fuck it up, I don't really care. The OBDT, OBD link. It's blinking blue. Um, obviously, when you get the green LED, it's power and it means it's uh, either it's searching or it's Bluetooth ready. So let me bust out my phone here. You got all your apps. Uh, use LS Droid. Does a version check. Is it ready? Well, first things first, I need to connect it to my Bluetooth. I already paired it. Let's try this again here. Says I'm already paired. Let's back out of here. Let's go to LS Droid. And let's go to Read PCM. Forgive me, I'm trying to look at the phone and trying to look at the monitor at the same time here. So we're going to go 9907. It says we're reading it. All right, so there we go. OBD LX Chevy MyLink is obviously my brand new Silverado. Any other Bluetooth here? I think that's for a set of headphones I use. This is experimental software. I understand there's risks using LS Droid and assume all responsibilities for problems that arise with its use. Of course. And then we're looking here, it says PCMO operating system I identification is complete. Um, would you like to read the PC the, read the con <sighs> would you like to read the contents of the PCM now? You can also start a PCM read from the menu as long as the Bluetooth Bluetooth connection is good. Disconnect from OBD link device to enable the app's normal navigation, blah 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 blah. Let's give it a shot. This may take a while. So you may want to leave your phone plugged in. And PCM status. Well, obviously I'm not going to sit here the whole time holding this. Holding my phone because I have, it's at 1%, uh, 5 out of 512 uh, megabyte file. So it's going to take about 22 minutes. So here's where I'm going to pause the video and then I will come back. So I missed a little snippet of the process, but it's it's kind of common sense. Basically, when um, Ellis Droid finishes reading your ECM, it's going to say, what would you like to name this file? You're going to name it. Um, the ECM I read was out of a 2004 Silverado, so I just named it 04 Guinea Pig, you know, because the ECM is my guinea pig. I'm... Like I said, if I brick it, I don't really care. It's whatever. So I'm going to back out of this. And then I have an LG phone. You may have a Samsung phone. Whatever, however, I go into management here. File manager. I don't know how your Samsung or whatever your Android device, however it operates. But long story short, you need to go and find your files and download pictures, blah, 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 blah. And they put it right here at the bottom. And you see 04 guinea pig bin. This is what you need, the bin. That's all the information saved off your ECM. The other stuff, I don't know if it's important or not. Sometimes it'll have like text notes, like if you do modifications to it, whatever, it'll say so-and-so change this, blah, blah, blah. Just kind of ignore it. The only important one you need to know about is the bin. So, I'm going to go to my laptop here. And I could have used like that screenshot or whatever folks use, but no, I'm kind of a hick. I don't have time for that. Um, I got a couple websites up, but I'm going to show you. I'll be back to them in a minute. 
So I'm going to go to, I already have the information saved onto my computer, so I mean if you know how to remove files and pictures from your phone onto your computer, um, skip this part. So I'm going to go to, you know, storage, click on that, and here it is, 04 guinea pig, blah blah blah, saved on my phone. I already moved the file and I saved it to my documents. Go to documents, I go to, I've got Audacity, which we use for like music stuff when we practice some music. Um, Tuner Profiles and Tuner Studio, it's obviously under Tuner Pro. I'm going to have it saved under bins, and then voila, voila, 04 guinea pig, bin saved. Cool beans. That is basically the binary number format, whatever, saved from your ECM onto your phone via uh, Bluetooth. Next thing, kind of important thing, you need to download Tuner Pro. Tuner Pro RT. There's two different forms of it. It's going to ask you to register. If you want to register, you're basically giving the creators some cash. It's up to you if you want to do it. I already have an XDF file loaded onto my Tuner Pro. An XDF file is kind of like the format of how to tune using Tuner Pro for the LS platform. It'll say right here, that's Airflow, Crank, DF, DFCO, blah, 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 blah. I have no idea what I'm doing with this crap. None at all. But I'm going to show you how to get this format because when you download Tuner Pro it's not going to have this. It's not going to have any of this stuff. Basically you're going to have to go online and register with uh, I used here we go I put LS Tuning with Tuner Pro and you're going to want to go to gearhead slash efi.com and you click on the site, you're going to register. It's a forum, friendly forum. You have to register in order to get the downloads, and you're downloading um, XDF files. And you go down here, and it's going to say operating system 088, 322, blah, blah, blah. Pay attention to the, uh, the size of the PC of 512 kilobyte. That's typically, typically 99 through 02. There's a couple exceptions, uh, like the Corvette's one of them, and Holden seems to be another one. Um, through 02, they used a 512 kilobyte uh, system. Anything after that, 03 through 07, like, let's see, they have a, I like this one here, the operating system for an 04, the 603 operating system. That's one megabyte. Long story short, I already have all this. I already saved all this to my computer, you know. You're going to register because you can't download these without registering. And then you just download them like anything else. This, is, this, this format here is, are these downloads here, that they help format the, you know, the tuning program. So we're going to go back into Tuner Pro, and I'm going to show you. Like if you look up there at the headline, it says operating system... 8322. Uh, that's because I already downloaded it. Uh, I go to select XDF, even though I already have it on here. And these are my download files. And that's going to say operating system 322, 088, 603. If you look closely, 1 megabyte, 512, 512. For the guinea pig, it's an 04. So I'm going to go with the 1 megabyte. And then if you look up at the headline here, it says no bin selected, XDF file, operating system 603, which was the 04, 2004 ECM. So now I'm going to select the bin. I'm going to open the bin, and I have to go under Documents. Then I'm going to go to Tuner Profiles, and I'm going to go to Bins. And then there it is, 04 guinea pig bin. Boom! What's my header say? 04 guinea pig bin XDF file 6031 megabyte blah 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 2004 this is correct and then now you see all this stuff like I said I don't know how to do any of this crap the only thing I'm gonna use for this thing for primarily until I learn is I gotta shut the vats off so if you look 
you got a column lock option, and then you have that anti-theft. And so it tells us a little something here to change it. Uh, no comparable bin, blah, blah, blah. Here's one thing you're going to need to know. It's a little tidbit. This is the parameter tree. You go to View. Then you go to Parameter Comments. And this tells you 0 equals VATS are active. 1, VATS are active via pulse width modulation, yada, yada, yada. Number 2, VATS are inactive. So I'm going to change it to number 2. And I'm going to save it. Cool beans. And then you always want to save the original bin. The original bin is the original ECM programming, just in case you screw up. So I'm going to go save bin as guinea pig. Uh, no. That. Hopefully this isn't too confusing for everybody. I'm going to save this under the file there, back out of this here, and then I'm going to go to right there. No VATS. No VATS. Original bin. Original locked computer. Now it's unlocked. No VATS. Cool deal. And now my phone is still connected. I'm going to go and copy this. Right click. Copy. I'm going to go to my phone, which is the LG Stylo 5, which is a piece of crap. Don't get an LG phone, everybody. And then boom. I'm going to paste this. And there it is. This is my uh, my folders for my telephone here. And 04 guinea pig. No vats. I don't know how to use Tuner Pro at all. Um, I guess it's like uh, what what are the one of my subscribers uh, say to me as it was a lot of scaling, a lot of scaling your all that nonsense. It's not for an amateur, but I mean for 50 bucks when you're spending the money on a uh, the OBD link, it's worth the money, you know, just to unlock VATS on these older computers just to get them running and driving, and then you can learn using Tuner Pro. All right. So let's uh, hopefully save it back on my phone here. Uh, okay, let's find out. And let's see what the old phone says. Um, oh, 04 guinea pig, no vets. All right, let's go back to the ECM. And let's load it and let's see what happens. All right, so trying to, sorry, I'm trying to look at my monitor upside down here. You're going to write calibration data, select file for operating system, something, something, 405. Let me check our operating system. Uh, whatever, close enough. And then there's our options. Emulated, blah, blah, blah. Oh, four guinea pig, no vats. So, please verify the file selected. Selected, oh, four guinea pig, no vats. Flash type, write calibration only. Your device will stop responding while this file is retrieved and may take up to two minutes to be loaded. Use this file. Loading the bin file. So I'm going to hit the, shut the camera off. Oh, maybe not. Building flash file. Please wait while your file is configured for writing. You'll still need to confirm write. To confirm write once, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here we go. And this, this is the process we're going to, we're doing to get the, uh, uh, move the camera so I can make it easier on myself. Forgive me, guys. And then you have to type in this command. Uh, cal. 
underscore only underscore flash begin flash warning gotta love them warnings you're about to flash your PCM while the file that may be from another vehicle this file may or may not be compatible with your PCM and <laughs> you can read all this crap yourself do not make any phone calls or send text messages do not turn off ignition switch. Always keep power on here. And this is the, uh, at the point of the process where you need to be really cautious because you could brick your ECM. I understand the risks. L asteroid flash starting. Please wait. Sending a silent bus command. Saying a bunch of stuff here. Sending something. Sending. Sending request a seed. Loading flash loader. Yada. Calibrate. This will take two to three minutes. So at this point, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna pause the video and come back to it when it's on to the next process. Verifying flash success. Checking PCM for normal opera. Look at that. It's a beautiful thing. Please turn the key off for 15 seconds to complete PCM reboot. You may not close the app. So Apparently that was it. I thought it was going to be longer than that. Alright. So I can now shut the app down. And I just need a donor vehicle to find out if this thing worked. Um, so with any luck, this dummy computer here now had the vats removed. The biggest expense for this whole ordeal was the OBD link. I've said this multiple times. It's like 50 bucks. I mean, do you want to take a $50 gamble to unlock your VATS and then while you're learning, uh, you know, do all this stuff? Um, I'll make another video, like an update video, when I actually um, unlock the VATS on the computer that I want to unlock, which is the one, the 896 ECM sitting under here. It's pretty easy, guys. It's pretty easy. Says the guy that never even hooked it up to see if it starts a car. <laughs> Alright. Anybody want to be the real guinea pig? Step up to the plate.